At the turn of the century, the 20th, not the 21st, Alfred Binet, residing in Paris, was approached with a problem. He was asked, can you devise some kind of instrument to help us predict who will succeed and who will fail? Being an ingenious fellow, what he came up with succeeded as far as the Parisian elders were concerned, and the resulting intelligence test gave way to the measure of intelligence quotient, or rather IQ. Its purpose, to give an early indication of how smart someone is. If we zoom forward in time, 1914 sees a world war, 1939 sees a second. 1943 saw the birth of Howard Gardner, and in 1983 he published his works on intelligence and told the world about his theory of multiple intelligences. Gardner's theory explored for the first time the possibility of there being multiple platforms for intelligence. He devised, after much research, that there were indeed at least seven different platforms. He labelled his seven platforms, or modules of intelligence, as logical, mathematical, linguistical, spatial, musical, bodily, kinesthetic, intrapersonal, intrapersonal. Each platform housed a different set of skills and capabilities, which when added to contextual and cultural situations, resulted in a considered high ability individual within that field. In modern society, linguistic and logical mathematical modules of intelligence are still seen as the most important and traditional forms of intelligence. Spatial intelligence mainly refers to the ability to form a visual representation of the world and use this mental representation to operate. You could quite commonly be in this group if you're an artist, an engineer, an architect, surgeons even have this, and even sailors of the South Seas. Musical intelligence is quite self-explanatory. Mozart was obviously musically intelligent and gifted. The ability to use your whole body, or even just a small part of it, to fashion and create a product or to solve a problem could be placed within the bodily kinesthetic intelligence platform. This level of intelligence can often be reflected in the works of dancers, athletes and craftspeople. Interpersonal intelligence is the ability to understand people and how to work practically with them. That salesman knocking on your door is probably very good at this, but maybe you don't think so. If we swap this last skill on its head though, those that can look inwardly at their own abilities and recognise our own wishes and dislikes as well as fears are often known as being intrapersonal. What is key in the theory of multiple intelligences is that being strong in one intelligence has no real or particular implications or correlations to strength or weaknesses in other platforms. Intelligence is described as being an ability to solve a problem or to fashion a product which is valued in one or more cultural settings. And as described by Gardner, this means that intelligence is no longer a term for just the mathematical minded, but for all. Seven unrelated platforms. Which train of intelligence are you on?